वेलकम टू द थर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ मार्वल स्पाइडरमैन गेम प्ले एंड ऑल द लाइक्स फॉर दिस वीडियो आर ग्रेटली अप्रिशिएटेड कीप दैट अप एंड आई विल बी पोस्टिंग स्पाइडरमैन गेम प्लेस वीडियोस टिल कंप्लीशन ए एस ए पी check your email hope this isn't how doc fires me peter the revelation of your second job as spider-man suit crafter is that the right term <clears throat> is a reminder of the good man and partner you are No matter how hard you work, you still find time to help others. I hope you don't mind, but I noticed the suit was a bit damaged, and I took the liberty of sketching up some of my own improvements. Attached are a few ideas I had on how you could enhance his suit and help protect Spider-Man, who does so much for this city. Looking forward to the incredible work that we are doing and changing the world together. Your partner and friend, Otto. White spider, huh? Hmm. You can now use your tokens to create the advanced suit, complete side missions and city-wide activities to earn tokens, hold space to craft the advanced suit. New suit and suit power unlock. Crafting a new suit. Okay, use the suit power. Suit mods. complete side mission suit suit powers and suit mods you have tokens to create suit mods okay suit mods increase your okay you can equip three suit mods that should do it okay New Spider-Man suit. Let's go. Coming through. Looking good, Spidey. Hello, New York. Ha <laughs> ha. New suit, same old me. I'm grateful for all the support you have given to the video so far, and I thank you for this. I am expecting to record and push out the campaign missions as soon as possible because as we all know Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is right around the corner releasing at 28th October and I am very excited to be playing that game and sharing my experience with you guys. Are keeping his rockets running. Construction sites. No, it's one of his legitimate businesses. Multiple investors. We can't act without cause. But now you've got that, right? That's why I'm hoping you can keep an eye on the locations. Tell me if you see anything suspicious. You got it. I'll be your nosy neighborhood Spider-Man. Interestingly, this reminded me of a podcast I have been listening to by Steve Bale, called as the Diary of a CEO. The podcast itself is great and in my personal opinion, life-changing for some of you out there who are in dire need of advice. I remember an episode which had Jordan Peterson as their guest on the podcast and something he said resonated with me on a very deep level. Steven has a tradition to write down a question by the previous guest that he had a podcast with and ask that question to the guest that he was talking with and the original question was are you happy to which Steve slightly changed the question and asked Mr Peterson What would be a question that he would ask him if that makes sense Mr Peterson simply replies to the question as how are you doing but when Steve asks Mr Peterson the same question he takes in a deep breath and is seen to be thinking heavily upon the topic Remember my warnings about the downright Orwellian crime monitoring system the city was installing it's not operating why because someone came to their senses and realized they'd be violating civil liberties wrong because 
A few minutes later, he answers brilliantly and terribly. As I think upon that now, playing this game, how would Spider-Man be doing if he were a normal human being? I highly suggest this podcast episode to anyone who wants to become the person they have always wanted to become. And from my experience, after devouring hours and hours of content on the subject, this episode, for me personally, was eye-opening to be honest. Drugs are maybe my most disliked criminal activity. Definitely top. Speaking of fighting, what fighting movies have you guys been watching in the recent days? Let me know in the comments down below because the one fighting movie that I watched recently was a movie named 1970. I love the movie because I come from a filmmaking or photography background and the movie had no cuts. Like the entire movie was kind of a free flowing experience which I haven't seen in a very long time. 1034 there is an assault in progress. Incident is ongoing near Union Square. Please copy. Like I mentioned in the previous episode, I like solving these crimes as they pop onto my screen. But if you want me to cut this out and focus on the main storyline of the game, do let me know in the comments down below. For now, because they did pop onto my screen, let's take them out and be on our way to the actual mission. Coming back to what we were talking about earlier, Jordan Peterson is a clinical psychologist who wrote the book called as the 12 rules of life which i personally love because he takes on a very different perspective upon life and is guided by a set of principles that can enable anyone to become more disciplined behave better and balance our lives while enjoying them as much as we can yuri i'm at a fist construction site and there's a lot of guys here who aren't exactly constructing what are they doing i want to go find out Huh, just got a text from Doc. Looks like he attached an idea for a Spidey gadget. Man, does he ever stop inventing? Press tab to open the gadget page. With the plans from Otto, you can now craft the impact web. Hold space to craft the impact web. Okay. Impact web is now unlocked. Unlock new gadgets with tokens. Okay, so these are the tokens. You can use tokens to upgrade each gadget. Interesting. It seems like progressing down the line with the game, you unlock multiple abilities in the web shooting aspect and they have their own upgrades. Speaking of upgrades, we have some skill points that can be used to upgrade our powers. So while editing the previous episode of the campaign, I researched about what skills are the most beneficial for the playing style that I am most comfortable with. And I found out that Air Marshal, Combo Booster and Point Launch Boost are the three skills that we need to develop our style for playing this game. because. Air Marshal increases damage to our enemies in the air. Combo Booster on the other hand increases the focused gain as we chain up more combo points. Point Launch wow. Boost is something this that will help like us to work. travel around the city more efficiently. Awesome. Doc could be proud. Like I mentioned in the previous episode that I am a huge fan of stealth. And let's try this out at this mission because we have a choice to either go guns blazing at our enemies alerting them of our presence or be sneaky spiderman and take them out one by one without alerting the rest of the enemies looking around the playground of enemies that we have to defeat there are ample of vantage points and our environment that we can take advantage of as spiderman our main goal here is to eliminate as many enemies as we can before revealing ourselves because eventually and i might be wrong here this too might be kind of a tutorial for learning the different aspects of the game speaking in general Literally didn't see that coming. Where are those idiots? Yo, get some more guys up here. The feet are killing me. 
we have almost reached the crucial point right now because uh, the enemies are far too close to each other that they cannot be taken out stealthily so to speak webs everyone stay sharp here spider-man's here i'm ready for anything you know what fuck it wave two okay so this is kind of a tutorial ish kind of level where we are now being introduced to waves of enemies and to complete or win this mission we have to defeat all of the enemies of all six waves as we can see in the top left corner of the screen this might be fairly easy now because we have spent skills point on to upgrading the skills required for the fighting style that i'm more used to Gun running. Let's see what I can do to cut down the supply. Property means. You're done for. Get down here and fight like a man. Boss is just tired of you. So am I. Watch out! You'll die. Get back there for the boss. Your new suit comes with a suit pa. Your current suit pa continuously builds focus. Press three to activate. But we already had a full focus pa. What? How? Okay, so we have to use. Let's test the speed with which we can upgrade or fill up our focus. That seems to be pretty fast, in my opinion. Welcome to the party. How I should have paid more attention to the attacks, but we have now learned getting hit by the grenades in this game makes Spider-Man disoriented, making his vision blurry and kinda makes it difficult to fight. I'll keep a note of that in the future fights because getting hit by these grenades means a heck of a lot of trouble. And if I'm surrounded by enemies, You know what? I just noticed the health bar and boy, we are low on health. How did that happen? That might be the wrong question to ask. When did this happen? I was aware of the fact that I had less than half health remaining before we were hit by the grenade. But now, we are sure to die if we get hit or eat damage of one or more of this grenade. Dying. Let's go. That was a tough fight and we should have died multiple times back there to be honest. I'm just glad the, the mission's out, finished Captain. and we can heal back Actually up to full. <laughs> and someone finally reported shots fired, so I've got officers inbound. Good work. Fisk has more construction sites throughout the city. Complete Spending more Fisk hideouts around the city to earn more base to tokens. Anything suspicious. If I'm gonna find all of Fisk's construction sites, I should recalibrate my mapping software to be more accurate. Using a depth map post-process on photos of popular landmarks should do it. And I know just the one to start with. So, Peter Parker, as we all know from the Spider-Man movies, was a photographer working for the Daily Bugle. I can relate to that because I too have been in the photography industry for well over a decade. 
and I'm grateful for my father introducing me to photography at a very early stage in my life. I remember a quote from an author who I have forgotten the name saying if you Man, change the way you look at things the snapshot. things you look at change. And that alone can explain the way photographers look at things from their perspectives. I'm sure Spider-Man 2 must have had his fair share of photography experience before choosing saving the city as a secondary field of profession, right? That'll do it. Map should be recalibrated now. I haven't done much photography. Photos of landmarks Google. throughout the city it. to earn landmark tokens. So these are the tokens which are most probably used to unlock the upgrades or various suits I may Landmarks 1 of 16 Hey landmarking complete Did we level up? Huh, it's Mr. Lee. Hello? Peter, it's Martin Lee. I just wanted to let you know we need a little extra time to get set for May's party. I guess the cake delivery is stuck in traffic. Oh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll swing by. Great. Talk to you soon. Okay, got some time to kill. Let's see what's happening out in the city. Okay. Since we have some time to kill before moving on to the next mission, let's descramble some more of these towers because doing that will unlock the region of the map. We might as well do a side mission if the game allows us to. because only completing the campaign mission will in my opinion not be the complete experience for playing the game right keep fighting the good fight man Hi Mr. Muggins. Uh if this is about the rent. Mr. Parker, this call serves as your third and final warning. Eviction proceedings. Wait, wait. I I get paid at the end of the week. I can Ah. Eviction proceedings will start Friday unless full payment is received by close of business. Good day. Yeah. Good day. We have got some more bad guys that we are going to bring to justice. Let's go. Now, I just had this thought. What would happen if we were to push or kick our enemies from the rooftop of a building, so to speak? Because we did the same thing with the last guy we fought from the Fisk mission. That's interesting. He gets webbed up to the side of the building. Great attention to detail is the only thing that I am going to say here. Now that you guys know that I come from a creative field of photography, that is the sole reason I obsess over the lighting and the environments in the games because as the definition of photography on Wikipedia mentions, photography is a game of light and shadows. That alone should explain why I keep obsessing over the lighting and the skies in the game or any game to be honest. Pursuit in progress. Backup requested. Officers needed near Kips Bay. We have also got ourselves our first car chase in the game. The previous games of Spider-Man also had car chases in which we had to take down the bad guys and stop the vehicle from escaping. Let's see how this one goes. Excuse me. I wonder how the crime tokens we have received by clearing out the crimes in our neighborhood are going to be utilized in the game. Like the first thought that comes to my mind when I look back at previous Spider-Man games is utilization of these tokens for some cosmetic or ability that Spider-Man can unlock, so to speak. back Mobilize at it we were almost at our mission and out came the radio message notifying us of a crime happening around us it must be tough to be spiderman if he would have actually been a real character in life 
The amount of times he must have had to cancel or change his own plans for a cause that greater than himself. That's something only Spider-Man can pull off. Finally, we have stopped the crime from happening and we are now on our way to the actual mission. It seems fun to be fighting crime and sending the bad guys to the place they belong. Still, as we have seen in the opening sequence of the game, the police do not completely support Spider-Man for his doings. But yet, they do appreciate him coming out to help them. Again, great attention to detail. <sighs> Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen getting ready for the party. What about my dog? Hey, Peter. Hey, guys. How's the game going? How does it look like it's going? I'm winning. Get this guy checked for dementia, Pete. I'm crushing him. Well, the important thing is having fun. <laughs> I have a lot of fun whooping his ass. And your dreams, crazy lady. Want a game, Pete? We play for peanuts. No, no, no. Too rich for my blood. I'll leave you to it. Hey, Peter. What's up? Just dropping in. Hey, Martin. So sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, uh I just, just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um, Peter, are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no, I mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter. What is it? Come on. You can tell me. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here and... Sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone... You help everyone. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it really means a lot. Voicemail from Yuri. Should check it outside. Alright, we are coming to the end of this episode. If you do like the videos that I am making, please like the video and consider subscribing. Also, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.